I'm home. Why are you sitting in the dark like this, babe? Hmm? The light bulb went out. Why didn't you call me and... Oh. Yeah, you told me three days ago. I still haven't replaced it. I know, I know. I don't get to it soon. Ah, oh, shit. I did forget to buy the milk. I'm sorry, babe. I got distracted by... Hey, don't walk away. Mm, oh my god, I messed up again. Change the light bulb by the milk. Change the light bulb by the milk. Baby. <laughs> At least the lamp is working in our room, huh? <laughs> hey, no death glares, please. I'm sorry. Hey. Babe, have... Have you noticed we've been fighting more frequently? We seem to lash out at each other so often now, and I... I just want us to be okay. Are we okay? Are you sure? Because I don't want this to build up in you and have things turn into something... completely different. Something terrible. Are you mad at me? Hey, talk to me, please. You're right. Things are not okay. They haven't been for a while now, have they? We've been arguing a lot over everything, it seems. How did things come to this? More than just broken light bulbs and running out of milk. How were we once so excited about our potential to being so bored with our present? No. Keep going. I'm listening. Yeah, that happened. And that too? Is that how you really feel? No, you're right. I, I guess it's the accumulation of every pent-up frustration and miscommunication that ever transpired between us. I... I, I feel that too, you know? Sometimes... Sometimes I feel this isn't real. Our relationship, us being together. Because we have to work extra hard to make this work. When we're apart, you know, me being here and you being not here, we wake at different times in different parts of the world. There are times I want to be selfish and demand more of your time. And I want to always be on the phone with you. I want to listen to your voice. Have you talk about your day as it happens. I want to take the next flight out to you so I can see you. Hold you. And bring you on actual dates whenever I want. I want to do all these normal couple things without having the challenge of the distance between us. And when you're here, with me, like, physically here, it feels surreal. I know if I reach out my hand, I can touch you. I can hold you, and, and I can feel you. And maybe, like you said, we're not used to being together offline yet, and it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> to feel like we know each other, but at the same time, there's so much more that we haven't learned yet. It feels like time is fleeting and we're not moving along with it. It feels dangerous. Like we're on thin ice waiting for that hit of the sun's warmth to melt. And yeah, that's scary. I don't want to wake up one day and find you not here anymore. 
and not just here, here, but here in my life. With all our recent arguments, I'm scared you're starting to find... find us not worth the effort. I want us to work, baby. It's tiring and exhausting, yes, but... You know, I've... I've never regretted it. Meeting you. Falling in love with you. And staying in love with you. I've never doubted that this... What we have here... Us... All that we are... We're endgame, honey. I'm in this for life. And I hope you don't regret me, baby. Yeah? You too? Oh, I'm glad, dollface. I love you too. I love you so much. We're not broken, but we can fix this. I promise we'll work things out. Now, come here. Let me hold you. I'm sorry about the light bulb and the milk. No, you, you didn't overreact. I said I'd replace it for you, but I didn't. I'm sorry. I'll do it right after I get my fill of hugging you like this, okay? <laughs> you know, us doing long distance isn't going to be forever, right? I know we haven't talked in detail yet, but one day, we'll be living in our house. Not just my apartment or your condo. It'd be our place. And whenever that may be, and whenever that will be, I know we'll get to that. Like I said, I'm in this for life. Yes, love. We'll be okay. Yes, I'm yours. In every way you'll have me. <laughs>